Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm so glad you joined me. I want to read a, a short passage of Scripture and then we'll talk about it together. It's Jeremiah 29, verse 11. The Bible says, For I know the thoughts that I have toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. The uh, King James says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end it means basically the same thing what it means is that God is thinking about you and it says that his thoughts are of peace not of evil and it says to give you an expected end what what the Bible is really saying there is God knows you personally and he thinks about you because he loves you and cares about you and it also says he has thoughts of peace toward us, not of evil, because he wants us to have a sure future. The trouble we have is not only that many times people reject that, they reject the idea that there is a God, and they don't understand who God is. They think God is just angry at us all the time, and certainly he has... Um, plenty of reasons to be upset with us but it says I know the thoughts that I think toward you saith the Lord thoughts of peace when we have so much threats of insecurity and lack of peace and conflict among people isn't it nice to know and wonderful to know that God loves you and thinks about you and has good plans for you friend and I were just talking about all the trouble and the different ones that aren't really walking with God and the truth is God himself has never changed he holds you in his hand nobody's able to snatch you out if you're his child and all of the promises God has made to you he will fulfill to me that's very significant because I hear politicians making all kinds of promises and threats and yet I have to stop and think, I belong to God, I don't belong to them. He's going to hold me in His hand. There is nothing that they can do that will take away that relationship which I have with Him through faith in His Son, Jesus. And I know that no matter what it looks like or feels like in this world, God will still hold on to me. He's got my back, so to speak, and He's prepared a real place for me so that no matter what happens to me in this life, I'm not afraid because I know that God is my Lord, He's my Savior, He's prepared a place. Someday He's going to come and take me by the hand, even though I don't deserve it, and take me to a place He's prepared for me. I want you to know that. I want you to have the same peace that I have inside my heart. I want you to have the same promises made to you that God will keep uh, for sure uh, through a relationship with Him. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. If you have questions about it, I welcome that. I like people that have questions if you're sincere. And you can come visit our church anytime. Bring your questions and uh, let me know. I'll make an appointment with you or talk to you on the side and try to answer your questions. And I do that using the Bible. I always use the Bible as my source. And I would love for you to come and to do that. I would love to try to help you find answers for yourself and to have prayer with you because I know God. He loves you and cares about you very much. And by the way, so do we. God bless you.